My name is Linda and I'm going to show you how to make the gusset for the bag. The gusset is the part of the bag that determines how far the bag is going to open and how far it will expand. Okay, so what we're going to do is start with a, a long piece of oak tag and we're going to get about, try to find about the middle of that. This is about 22 inches so I'm going to pin it right here. and draw a line. We're going to make this piece of paper symmetrical. So I'm going to fold this, turn it this way and get about the center of this part which is about here. Pin it, open it up and score going the opposite direction. Oops. Okay. We fold it. Okay. So at this point, what we're going to do is try to determine the length of our gusset. And in order to do that, we have to take our front and back master pattern, fold it in a half, and take this is the middle notch here, and right here is the center of, the, of this gusset. And you line that up. and put your finger there and hold your all down while you swing the pattern over and line it up. You'll actually start from right there from the flattest part and then when you're getting to this curve you hold your all down and walk that curve around the edge of the middle part of that gusset. Okay, and you walk it all the way around, holding your left hand down, and then when you're making a turn, you hold your all down. And then when you get to your the flat part, you're at the end of where the gusset will be. Okay? And so you pin it right there. You can actually do the other part too, so that you'll be able to cut it straight across. Okay? Fold this in half. and now you can cut right there. Now we'll have the length of the gusset. First you're getting the length of your gusset and now what you're doing is getting working with the, wi the width of how wide it is. So I decided I wanted it to be four inches on the bottom and about three inch and three inches on the top. So because we're working in a, a double, you don't have to, you can just measure two inches over here. Okay. And I pin it, well actually on the bottom, I'm sorry. So I'll get the actual bottom of the pattern has two inches. And on the top, since it's going to be three, I just go down one and a half inches from this part. Okay. And I fold it because I'm going to be cutting these two pieces, these two sides at the same time here. Matching those pins and cutting. Okay. And since it's the same, it's going to be symmetrical, so I can just fold this over and pin at the points that line up with the other side. You can pin all the way through and see you have your holes in the back. So you can flip it and you'll be able to cut this part. So that's your, your master gusset and you can also check your measurement to make sure it's correct by walking it again. It'll, it doesn't take very long, you just kind of 
Line it up. Just to make sure everything is going to fit, because then you don't have to redo it. Yep, it's perfect. It lines up perfect right there. Okay. So that's your gusset pattern. And you also want to knot, do your notch here in the center so you always know where your the middle of your bag is. So very small notch. Okay. And then you mark your pattern. This is the master, and it's a gusset. Okay, and you just cut one. Okay. And the bag is called Demo One. And that's your gusset. That's going that's gonna be wrapping around the front and back part of your bag.